When traveling abroad, especially to another continent, you're likely to encounter different forms of power. Now, this could be different shaped outlets, and as well, it could actually be different types of power that are coming out of the outlet. I won't get too technical with you today, I just want to let you know that it's good to look into that. A simple Google search will let you know if the country or the continent you're going to has different power than what you have at home. And if it does, then you might need to bring along some extra things to charge your devices and keep them powered. So I'm going to talk about both of those different kinds of devices today. The first thing I'm going to talk about is an adapter. So an adapter is something that only changes basically the shape of the plug. This doesn't change the type of power that's coming through, and that's a really important distinction. The other thing I'm going to be talking about is a converter. This is something that changes both the plug and the type of power. And also there's an option where you don't need any of that. I will have links in the description for a lot of the products I'm about to talk about. The good news is, if you are charging something using USB, you don't need to worry about the power type because USB, the kind of power that comes through a USB cable, is universal the world over. So if you're in a hotel that happens to have like this Hampton Inn does, some USB plugs, then you can just plug your USB in like normal and charge away. So that's generally good for things like your phone, uh, most Android phones are USB-C, uh, Nintendo Switch uses USB-C, things like that. But anything that you can charge using a USB port, this could include travel fans, uh, it might also be for charging battery packs, those sorts of things, that's all pretty good. And so if your hotel has USB charging, that's a load off for your normal standard devices. But let's say you're charging something that isn't just a USB connection. This might be a razor, a shaver. Uh, it could be a tablet, like my Microsoft Surface here. Uh, it could be a laptop, something else that uh, charges by something other than a USB-C. That's when you get into the question of adapter or converter. So first I'm gonna talk about the adapter, and I've got this one here. I'm currently in London. This is a type G adapter. This is a Tessin travel adapter. So this is part unboxing. I'll have a link to this in the description, uh, but I'll unbox this for you now. And as you see, it's really quite simple. There's an overview. This adapter has USB plugs. So I can plug this in and I can use these without worrying again about that converter issue, that power issue. So if your hotel does not have USB plugs and you get something like this, which I recommend, it's very small, you can kind of pack it inside a shoe or something, doesn't take up a lot of room, fairly lightweight, and then you can just plug your USB in and not worry about the type of power that you're getting out of the wall. So for something like this, however, there also is the regular three prong, and you'll see on the back, it's a different kind of plug. This is the kind of plug that they have in the UK. This would plug in, and I can plug in on this end, but again, I want to stress this, it doesn't convert the type of power. So how do you know if something like this, which is looking like a pretty good product, is all you need, or if you need this, which is bulkier, a power converter is bulkier and heavier, how do you know if you need one or the other? Well, your device will generally have information that will let you know. So for example, on the charger for my Microsoft Surface here, I can check some of the fine print here, and what I'm looking for is where it has input, it says 100 to 240 V, that's V for volts. So if your charger or your device has input from 100 to 220, 240, something like that, then this actually will convert the power all on its own. So this works just fine with only an adapter. You don't need a power converter. And so I think you will find that a lot of devices this will be sufficient. I do recommend bringing this if you're going somewhere with different power, but I don't know that a converter is always needed because so many of these devices have plugs like this. You only need to adapt the shape of the plug. This does the power converting for you. You're good to go. And I checked a lot of the devices I brought with me on this trip, my shavers and other things. They were all like that. So that's pretty handy. But let's say you've got something that doesn't have that. Um, or your device doesn't say and you don't want to risk it. The last thing you want to do is blow up your very expensive tablet. I can totally appreciate that. 
In fact, on this trip, just because I happen to have a converter with me, I've been using it just to be extra careful. And so the converter does two things. Not only does it plug into the different pronged outlet than what you're used to, inside here it converts the power to the kind uh, that you're used to. So an adapter only adapts the prongs. A converter adapts the kind of power that's coming out of the wall. So check your devices before you go. I do strongly recommend at the bare minimum getting and bringing an adapter. And if your adapter has a couple USB plugs here like this one does, again, I'll have a link in the description so you can get that off Amazon. Very inexpensive. Uh, might be a good gift if you've got somebody in your family who likes to travel or is traveling somewhere soon, uh, abroad like UK, for example. So this at the bare minimum, I do recommend bringing because at least now you guarantee that you can do that universal USB charging without worrying about power converting. And it should work on many devices, but important, 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 I want to stress this, check the details of your device so that you don't blow it up by not converting the power. Uh, but if you're just bringing a phone and maybe a Nintendo Switch or something like that, things that you can power just using a USB, a GoPro, for example, then something like this, these USB ports should be basically all you need for most travelers. I don't think there's a lot of people who necessarily take more equipment like we do. We bring cameras, we bring sound equipment, I bring shavers and things like that. And that might not be uh, what everybody uh, brings. You know, not everyone uses electric shavers, for example. Um, so if you have simple needs, then something like this can really get you by and just kind of rely on the USB because with the USB, you can't go wrong. The USB is pretty much safe to use always. Whereas the prongs, if you're not sure about that voltage thing, it can be a little tricky. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do. We've got tons of tips like this. Wherever you're traveling, however you're traveling, we've got tips to save you money and frustration and hopefully have a happier, more fun vacation. So thanks so much for joining us. And let me know in the comments, what kind of experiences have you had traveling where you needed different kinds of power? I've gone on trips where I had a converter that had a bunch of attachments because I was going to several different areas over a month where uh, many of them had different power outlets and all of that and so sometimes that's useful but let me know in the comments we'd be curious to hear about your experiences uh, if you've given this a try what you think this looks pretty good to me so I think this is probably a recommend and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video